try, adapt, learn. In this video, we will try to remove the radiator on our Ford 9N tractor project. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe now for more videos including DIY, maintenance, projects, and yard work. At this point in the project, we had done a second startup and test run. We determined that the water pump was leaking at the pulley. We then removed the hood off the tractor. The hood removal will be linked below in the description. With the hood of this tractor off, it gives access to a lot of parts under it associated with the engine. Since the water pump was leaking and needed to be replaced, I also wanted to remove the radiator to be able to replace it and the hoses. As seen, the clamp to the bottom hose had a bit of corrosion. I used multiple tools and even WD-40 to help remove it. Knowing that I would replace the hoses, I ended up cutting it off with a small cutting wheel. With the plastic container below, the fluid didn't look that bad. It makes me think the cooling system is in good condition and or it was leaking for quite a while and just got topped off frequently. As seen, the clamp to the top hose was able to be removed with a flathead screwdriver. The bottom clamp to the top hose was also corroded. I then decided to cut it out again knowing that I would replace the hoses. Even with cutting the hose, it was tight on the head of the engine and as seen, there was a little bit of corrosion. You'll notice that there is no thermostat installed. The radiator is mounted at the bottom to the radiator mount. This should include two bolts, two lock washers, and two fasteners. In this view, you'll notice there is no fastener on the left side radiator mount. The right side radiator mount had the hardware installed. The fastener was unable to come out easily because of the corrosion on the threads of the bolt. I tried using tools, but again, knowing that I would replace the radiator, I ended up using a reciprocating saw to cut the bolt. With the hoses and fasteners disconnected, the radiator can easily be lifted to remove it. After removing it, I did keep it on the side of the container so that I could drain it completely. As seen, without the hood and the radiator, there would be a lot of access to replace the water pump and work on parts near the engine. Stay with us as we continue work on this Ford 9N tractor project. As I make new videos, I want to share them with you, so subscribe now. Also comment, like, and check out some of the other content on our channel.